The government of India has recently announced the national education policy with the intention of transforming education in the country. Under this policy, students at higher education shall complete skill-based courses like digital fluency, artificial intelligence, cyber security, etc. as a part of their curriculum. The course structure and the content is developed by the NASCOM and is available at their Future Skills Prime portal. Now let us see how to register for the portal using mobile app in this video. The registration to NASCOM's Future Skills Prime portal using mobile phone or website itself can happen in two ways. One is direct registration where students are registering themselves by choosing for fresh registration option. Another one is the registration by the NASCOM officials where they collect the data from the university through the students and then they register on behalf of the students. If in case your university has already shared a Google form to you for registration and you filled in the details with your email ID, then officials at NASCOM might have already created an account with your email ID on the portal. In this case, you might have already received an email and a default password from Future Skills Prime. You can sign in using that email ID and the default password sent by Future Skills Prime. If you haven't received email due to some reason or if you have forgotten your email, then you have to reset your password in the first instance. So I'll be discussing how to reset your password or if you face any problem with respect to registration in Future Skills Prime app, then next video you have to watch. I have shared the link of that video in the description section. You can click on to that link which is provided in the description section of this video and you can watch that video also. In this video, I will explain how to go for fresh registration in the app. To use NASCOM's Future Skills Prime app, we need to download the app. This can be downloaded from Google Play Store or Apple's App Stores. Now I'll go to Play Store to download the app. So I'll go to Play Store. There I'll type Future Skills Prime. The moment you type Future, you will, uh, yeah, Future Skills Prime, you will get NASCOM's app. Click on to that. So this is the app which I'm supposed to download. That is of Edcast Asia Private Limited. I'll click on install. So this is a 37 MB app and it will take little bit time to download. Now app is getting installed. So once it is ready, I'll instruct how to register, how to go for a fresh registration in the app. So I'll click on to open now. So app will uh, open. So now, now in this registration page, I have to click on to sign up. I'll click on to sign up now. So once I click on to sign up, our page will open. There I have different option to sign up or register for Future Skills Prime app. Here I get different options to register. So if you have Yahoo Mail or Rediff Mail or any other mail, including Gmail, we can click on to email option for registration. So if you want to use your Gmail, there is an exclusive option called join now with Google. So that uh, option can be chosen. So if you want to use your Facebook or LinkedIn account and uh, you want to link that account to Future Skill Prime app, that also you can do by clicking the next two options. And if you are a user of uh, Apple phone, then you have a separate option called sign in with Apple. You have to click on to that. So I will use my Gmail account, but I will go for email option to be on the safer side. So I'll click on to email. Here I have to feed in my email account. So I will feed in my email account. Once I feed in, then I have a checkbox where there is a condition. You can read that condition, then click on the checkbox. Once you click on the checkbox, next button will get activated. I have entered my email account. Now I click on to checkbox. Now next button got activated. So I'll click on to next. Now there is a page which is opening. So here there is instruction. Uh, thanks for joining. 
please check for your verification email now now what happened is future skill prime app has sent a email for confirmation to the email which i registered so now what i need to do is i need to go to my this email which i am using for registration so there is a verification mail which is sent by future skill prime so i have to click on to that and then i have to verify my email address so i will do that now now i will open my gmail so i'll click on to my gmail app so this is the mail i am using so there I got a message from or email from future skills prime to verify my email ID. I'll click on to that. So here at the bottom in between, I have a link called confirm your email address. I'll click on to that. Once I click on to confirm, it will take me to my app once again. So here I have to feed in few information. So I need to be very careful in feeding my first name. So since you are registering as student and this is very important for your uh, progress in the academics at undergraduation level. So you have to feed in uh, first name and last name and other information carefully. So now with respect to your name, uh, some of you may have first name and last name. Some of you may have first name, middle name and last name. And some of you may have first name and initial. And some of you may have only first name. So in that case, if you have first name, first name and last name, you can feed in that information in the respective field. If you have first name and middle name, then feed in your first name and middle name in the first name field and put your last name in the last name field. If you have initial, put your first name in the first name field and last name, there you have to put your initial. And if you have only first name, in that case, you have to put your first name in the first name field and last name, you put a full stop marks or period mark. If you want to put a profile picture, you have an option here with pencil mark, click on to that. So then you choose your uh, gallery. So here you can choose one of your profile pic. So I'll choose mine. So then crop it as per your requirement. Then click on to crop. Your profile picture comes on the page. To set a password, you have to follow few instruction which is given here. Password must contain at least eight characters. So there should be eight characters, an uppercase letter that should be an alphabet, a number and a special symbol or special character like hashtag or at or ampersand. So those marks you have to put. So you set your password. I'll set my password now. Once you set a proper password, those letters will come in green color. So if this is an indication you're ready for registration then click on to i agree option check click that checkbox then click on to next in this page i have to enter few data first of all i have to enter my date of birth so date of birth initially only those students who attain the age of 18 years are allowed to register using mobile app of future skills prime but now future skills prime official has allowed the students who are below 18 years also to register using the mobile app so i'll choose a date of birth of a student who has not attained uh, the age of 18 years that means i'll choose uh, december 2005 which means he is not attained 18 uh, years now. I'll take one random date. I'll take uh, December 18, 2005 as birth date. So then you have to choose your gender. I'll choose my gender. Then enter pin code. Pin code can be, you can enter your college ka pin code or your home address ka pin code. So I'll choose college ka pin code and I'll enter. So once I enter the code, you have to click on to the code which is coming below. So a tick mark will come, then you have to click on to done. So then the respective uh, information with respect to pin code will come, that is district, state and country. Then you have to enter your mobile number. So I'll enter my mobile number. So once you enter your proper mobile number, then click on to verify. A verification OTP will come to your mobile phone, minus come. So I'll enter verification OTP, that is 3020. So once you enter your uh, OTP, mobile get ticked with green color which means you can go ahead i'll click on to next now so now here i have to choose the occupation so since we are registering as student you can click on to student here so if you are a teacher you have another option called as working professional you can choose that so now you have to enter education details this is for undergraduate students bcom ba bba bsc bsw so and other courses so i'll click on to undergraduate here so then there is a checkbox to click you don't click because there they specify please select if you have been offered employment you have not been offered any employment you are pursuing for the sake of your academic progress so therefore click on to next now without checking that checkbox so here you are asked to choose up to three interest there will be list coming here you can choose any of the topic of your interest i'll choose artificial intelligence intelligence big data analytics and cyber security so you have to choose three then click on next once you click on next this page will open so this is a confirmation that you or registration process is completed but if you want to reconfirm 
your profile which you have chosen you have to click on to that so this is an indication that you have registered with future skill prime so your score for the time being is zero you have to go through with the content as you go through with the content your score will increase once you finish the test you will get badges certificate also so this is the process of registering to future skill prime in the next video i'll explain how to enroll for digital fluency subject in this future skill prime mobile app thank you guys for watching the video if you like this video do consider to subscribe to the channel and press bell icon to get future updates on the videos which i'm going to upload thank you thank you for watching